and Jose Pesero gets an ultimatum to accept pay cut or quit. There's a much more we have on the program. Do stay with us. TVC Sport Desk. All right, let's uh, begin the program with, of course, the Minister's tour of uh, national facilities in terms of sports. New Minister of Sports, John Eno, is on his first inspection of federal facilities. Following up a tour of Moshuda Biola Stadium in Abuja, the Minister is now on a tour of the long-abandoned Lagos National Stadium in Surulera. The Minister appears to want to continue with some of the ideas of his predecessor, that's uh, Sunday Dari at concession in the facility, if that's the way to revive it. Let's hear what they had to say. It's the development of sports. And this development, of course, is divided into those two aspects. That's what's the development. To what extent are we, as a ministry and as a country, able to provide the infrastructure and the amenities at the grassroots level, where oftentimes the talents are located. You are not only going to see so much in the going, as much as you are going to see in the interior. I mean, I don't know what has become of Ajengwe. Ajengwe. All such areas are the areas you have for staff talents, people that do not ever have the opportunity to express themselves. All right, at this point, let's uh, bring in our correspondent, Solomon Ajizogo, who was uh, part of the uh, minister's, uh, of course, um, you know, team touring the facilities. Well, Solomon, uh, if you can hear me, uh, what was the minister's first impression uh, during the tour of the facilities? Well... It is another visit by another minister uh, of sports. Uh, you know, this has been a tradition. It has been a tradition of ministers when they are appointed uh, to make a tour of facilities, federal sporting facilities across the country. Uh, sports minister John Eno had visited the national stadium in Abuja uh, on assumption of office. And today, he has visited the National Stadium here in Surulere, and he is disappointed with a whole lot of things he's seen here. He went from one section of the stadium to the other. Uh, when he came, he went straight to the liaison office, where, of course, under the darkness there, he met the uh, ministry, the st members of staff of the ministry. He addressed them briefly before then proceeding to check on other facilities within the stadium. Uh, he went to the main bowl where we were able to see the extent of work there. Uh, first, the impression, uh, he, he is appreciative of the private sponsorship of uh, the renovation work inside the main bowl of the National Stadium, which has brought the Tartan track back, uh, the main playing pitch, and the scoreboard. But there's still so much work to be done with the sitting terraces um, we doubt if anybody could stay on those terraces for any sporting activity. So the field, the pitch is ready, the tartan track is ready, the scoreboard is ready, but then um, we still can't hold events there because we are not sure of the integrity of the structure uh, where the spectators would sit. He then proceeded to go to the swimming pool, which is one of the most functional areas of the stadium, uh, it's already concession for private, uh, in a private uh, 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 public partnership initiative and the swimming pool is going, except that the um, warm-up pool is not active. So the first impression the minister gave is that the arena is worth weeping for. Uh, it is not where it should be. And he has said that if, it, if concessioning each section of it is what will make it work, then so be it. All right. Um, well, as you just mentioned now, uh, the minister will continue, of course, with the legacy left behind by the former minister, Sunder Dar, in terms of uh, public-private partnership. Uh, in talking about public 
private partnership. Did he in any way perhaps say, uh, you know, talk about, uh, you know, those that he, he would want to, you know, have on board in terms of concessioning the facilities? Well, I'm not sure I heard you there clearly. Uh, uh, maybe um, you, you're not audible enough or something, but I, I think I heard right. something about private uh, partnership. Uh, yes, all right. Solomon, if you can hear me now, I just you know, talked about an initiative of uh, Sonde Dari, the former Minister of Sports, in relation to public-private partnership. That the minister, the new minister, looks to continue on that path. Did he talk about anyone he wants to bring on board in terms of uh, you know, that initiative? Well, you remember that uh, his predecessor, Sunday Dari, uh, brought... Uh All right, uh, Correspondent Solomon Ajizogu, of course. Uh, all right, I understand uh, Correspondent Solomon Ajizogu is back with us now. Uh, well, Solomon, uh, let me, uh, you know, ask this now. Tell us what the minister's plans are for sports generally. Because attention, there's been so much attention on football. What are his plans to ensure that other sports, you know, get attention as well? After inspecting most parts of the stadium, he addressed the press. Uh, Minister John Eno did talk about a two-pronged focus for uh, while he's in charge of sports, for as long as he's in charge of sports, on that this uh, administration will be uh, grassroots sports development and then sports for development. Uh, the grassroots sports, develop, uh, sports development is necessary for devel uh, sports development to take place or development in sports, as he puts it. Uh, when you invest in grassroots sports development, it will eventually dovetail into sports for development where sports then begins to be a real business and um, um, uh, uh, an, in an income earner. This is, one, uh, this is one thing he said he's going to take, uh, pay a lot of attention to. And in order to aid the sports development or grassroots sports development, it means taking a look at all the facilities and looking at where to set up facilities across the country to build and maintain uh, infrastructures all across the country for grassroots sports development and to look at how these can translate into sports for development. Uh, but, you know, if you are going to do that for grassroots sports development, then you must take into consideration issues of school sports. We didn't have the chance to ask him all of that because there was not enough time to question him because grassroots sports development will mean that the sports ministry will then have to have a budget head with Nuga, a budget head with Nipoga, budget head with Nisega, the whole of college sports, and then the NSSF. As we talk right now, this is where the grassroots sports development takes place, and the ministry has no budget head allocated for all of these school sports. And so every time every minister comes in a traditional tour and then addressing the press whenever they take office like this, they say these sort of things. But we have a whole four years to evaluate his performance to see if he can go a step further uh, to rehabilitate the stadium. We've seen the track brought back, um, even though some of us are asking questions about the quality of the track. We've seen the pitch brought back. We've seen the scoreboard. Then we are waiting for the terraces. We are waiting for other parts of the stadium to come to life so that it becomes a functional facility. This is what the minister wants, and we hope that he will be able to do this. All right. Uh, Correspondent Solomon Najizogu, many thanks indeed for giving us uh, those uh, uh, breakdowns. Break